Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus Do Science series. This is for Venus in Capricorn. So if in your birth chart, Venus is sitting in Capricorn, this is for you. Uh, also, this can apply if you have seventh house Capricorn, making you Cancer rising. Um, if you don't know where your Venus is at, I have left a video in the description box for you to just click on. I was trying to reduce having to explain that for every video. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. Uh, if you want to reach me for a personal or private reading, you can email tomajtarot at gmail.com. That's also in the description box. Um, okay, so we have the emperor, the world, the will of fortune, the hierophant, the Two of Swords, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Chariot. Um, also, for whatever reason, I feel like mention I didn't mention this through all the videos, um, but those of you that study astrology, um, I almost feel like this could apply also to your progressed Venus. Um, and your uh, solar return Venus. Um, okay, so the emperor. Uh, I'm seeing, first of all, like movement, like relocating, traveling, uh, a, a strong businessman or, or woman. Somebody is dealing with someone who is either um, maybe a flight attendant, a truck driver, um, uh, Uber driver, someone who does traveling for a living, even if they're not necessarily the pilot or the flight attendant. Maybe this is just a business person, a CEO, especially who's always having to go across country. This is a, a powerful person. This person has a lot of status. They're very re well respected. Um, and this person is coming towards you. They have made up in their mind that they want to be with you. Men, if you're watching, I'm tired of having to tell y'all to switch this around. There's not a, a man coming towards you unless you're a gay man. Um, and that's okay too. But if you're a straight man, this is your energy. There is someone that you have fixated your mind on um, and you want to move towards them. Uh, you've you've made up in your mind. You're like, yeah, you know, I can see myself settling down with this person. I made up my mind. Yeah, I'm going after them. And you, you're really thinking about, you know, commitment. You're thinking about serious things. Um, you you have um, strict relationship goals, and you expect someone that's going to be able to respect your lifestyle. You're like, look, you know, I do this for a living. Um, you might even be an athlete, matter of fact. But it's like, look, you know, this is my life. This is how I live. Um, but I'm willing to put you on a throne. I need a queen. I'm ready for her. I need some babies. I need, You're coming off extremely uh, old-fashioned. That could be too much for, for this woman. Or maybe she's into it. I don't know. She might. She might be kind of fighting you, though, because the, the guards are up. Ladies, if this man is coming towards you, this is your energy. Like, uh-uh. Like, you ain't finna put me um, thinking I'm about to be barefoot and pregnant, like, while you out touring or traveling. I want to go, too. So, I don't know. There's something going on where there could be power struggles, but you can say no to him all you want. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. He's, his will... His will, he's determined now. His will has been activated. He's made a decision. Oh, look, look at me. <laughs> I'm just showing you that all these are showing someone who is being a strong in character. Um, not to mention so many majors coming out. But he is, he sees what he wants. He's strategized. He doesn't care. You can't hurt his feelings. He has his art, his um his shield on his protect protection um he here it is he wants something traditional he's being old fashioned now and he's deter again he's determined both of these are talking about determination someone whose willpower is is like nothing is getting in this person's way they they have certain standards certain boundaries they're looking for that right 
woman and they found her. I mean, ladies, don't get me wrong. Maybe this is your energy. Um, but you are, especially if you're, you know, a lesbian, but it's just like you are, have your mind made up on who you want to be with and you are going after them. You're like, uh-uh, I don't care how many times you tell me no, you can put them swords down, put them swords down, come here. You know, so somebody is coming after you, they're driven, they're passionate, um, they're just business-minded. Very business minded. This person um, may be coming from a different location, especially if you already know who I'm talking about. Maybe you guys were in a long distance relationship. Um, I see some major shifts happening. I feel like somebody is definitely going from being single to be in a relationship. I mean, it can go the other way around too, like someone coming out of a relationship and now they're finally establishing their business, making uh, networking out there and just kind of being motivated to establish their name, their brand. Uh, I, I see a very strong, very strong individual, very uh, free thinking, very, um, um, what do you call it? Intimidating, um, a very a fearless person. I'm seeing someone who's very fearless. Um, boy, I don't know too why I feel like even though this is a Capricorn reading. I mean, sorry, uh, Venus and Capricorn. I feel like this is going to ring true for Capricorns, even if your Venus and Sun aren't in the same sign. Like. Say you're a Capricorn, but you have uh, Venus in Pisces or Venus in Aquarius or Venus in Sagittarius. I feel like if you're a Capricorn, regardless where your Venus is sitting and you're just like being nosy or maybe you just don't know where your Venus is at. And you're like, I'm going to watch anyway. I feel like this message is for you, too. Um, so because the, the, the Capricorn just keeps saying in, in my mind, I keep hearing Capricorn, Capricorn. So I guess maybe that's just to confirm that this is for all Capricorns, even if your Venus isn't in Capricorn. I also feel like for some of you, Something's definitely taking place airy season if it doesn't happen within the next week. Airy season begins March 20th. So I feel like when the sun moves into Aries, um, your life is going to sh shift. It's going to change. It's definitely changing for the better. Um, someone is opening up. Someone wants to express how they feel. I'm definitely getting an entertainer or a performer or someone who is just a very good public speaker, uh, very uh, like someone who's a motivationalist, someone who can um, convince. They, I feel like they move the crowd. I'm thinking of, I'm giving away my age. <laughs> I'm thinking about Eric being Rakim. How can I move the crowd or whatever he said? I, I can't think of the lyrics. Um, but yeah, something about moving a crowd because of what you have to say in your presence. Someone has a very strong presence where you walk into a room and everybody just like looks up at this person and you could just be saying regular things and people just want to know who this person is. Tell me more. Tell me more. Almost to like, uh, like Dave Chappelle. Um, like you can just listen to him. He j he's just captivating. You want him to just keep talking and talking, even though he ta he talks slow in his story. He takes time to tell his little stories. Like you just want more. So I feel like you're dealing with a very strong presence here, um, or and it could be you. Um, now someone also is very charming. Um, so they definitely have that hypnotic. Uh, persuasion going on so be careful with that because someone might be trying to sell you an illusion but I, like I said even if 
I feel like this person really wants to be with you, but it's just that this person is a business person and that's what I'm getting. These are qualities of their business sense. This is someone who has to sell a product, so they will say anything. They will agree to anything. They're like, yes, this is what you want. Yes, you know, which can also be a political figure. I don't know how I forgot to say that, but you could be dealing with a political figure because this person is talking, is just talking all bullshit. And, you know, a magician is just selling some, some shit and, you know, might not produce nothing, but they, they put on a good show, you know, so you might be dealing with a, a strong politician. Uh, they're out looking for someone to fit that image, that public persona. Um, maybe you are the only person who knows who this person is, but to the, to the public, to the general public, they have to put on an illusion here. Um, I also feel like there is a spiritual connection with you and this person. You guys share like a past life together um this person is also uh, a reflection of your your shadow side things that you have buried deep within that you don't like to think about this person is going to bring it out of you they're going to trigger your anxieties all the things that you have buried they they have the ability to trigger that or maybe you have the ability to trigger someone's anxieties here uh, but I, I feel like someone is definitely being admired. Now, too, what I'm getting is someone who has the ability to communicate telepathically. And they send, if it's not telepathically, it is just uh, ambiguous. And someone is talking to you indirectly, which can be annoying. But yeah, someone is talking and sending mess, indirect messages to you instead of straight being straight up. Um, it's like, why don't you just tell me instead of, you know, saying things and talking in code and posting in code, you know, and they could be doing that because of their image, especially if you're dealing with someone who could be famous or popular or, you know, like I said, a political leader, you're definitely dealing with a strong presence. So maybe they had to come at you with a fake profile um, but you know, when they FaceTime you, you see who it really is. Make sure you get that FaceTime in. Um, here we have secrets. High Priestess is telling you that to also to listen to your intuition about something. So you're going to get confused about what direction you should move in at some point or whether or not you need to believe someone. The high priestess says, trust your intuition and go with the flow. Don't overthink it. Just trust and go. This is also telling me, too, that you are like things are being revealed to you through your sleep. Messages come to you in dreams. So those of you that do have dream, I know some that's not for everybody because some people are like, I just don't dream. But those of you that do dream pay attention to them because messages are being delivered through dreams. I also see this spiritually as the messenger Hermes. Um, he's delivering um, messages in clever ways, like you have to read between the lines. Um, so your spirit guides are leaving more so out synchronicities as confirmations for whatever you have doubts about. If you're single and you're like, I'm just not meeting anybody, but it sounds like a nice person, then this also could be your energy, you know, like I said. And But you don't look sad about it. You might have anxiety from time to time about being single or those old fears resurface about being single. Like you might have a fear of being single sometimes, but then it goes away. It's just a phase and it's probably because of the uh, position of the moon. Maybe the moon is touching one of your personal planets and it just kind of triggers anxieties, but it, it'll pass. You'll be okay. Somebody is going to reveal a secret to you about how they feel. See, they're being vulnerable. They're being telling you how they feel. They're expressing themselves. 
uh, they're trying to be very transparent with you. I feel like this person sends mixed signals, but then they come clean. So I feel too like she's saying have patience with whoever you're dealing with. Or maybe this person needs to have patience with you. Maybe you're worried, like is somebody gonna stick around for me? Or is somebody patient enough to deal with my lifestyle or my personality? I feel like, yes. I feel, I feel like the answer is yes for you. Um, Somebody has a hidden talent or a hidden gift that they, they're going to share with everyone, whether this is you or the person you're dealing with. I feel like someone has some sort of gift. They're gifted. Gifted in singing, gifted in astrology, gifted in songwriting, gifted as a director, producer, Gifted in acting. Gifted in tarot card reading. Channeling. Someone has a gift, basically. I was just trying to go off of all the things that the gift could be. It's your talent. It's your hidden gift. And I feel like you are finding uh, ways to share this talent with people. Like, say you're a successful... Especially after you get to a point where you you feel successful and you're like, okay, I beat out my competition now, I'll share all my secrets. So like if you are gifted in selling homes or flipping homes, now you are going around traveling, um, having these workshops or these seminars where you're teaching things to people about how to flip home, how to flip houses, how to get a loan, how to clear your credit, how to channel, how to read tarot, how to um, how to read astrology charts. Somebody is definitely sh teaching people, teaching the masses and people are coming up to you for advice. Uh, people are showing love to you. People are praising you and uh, thanking you. You may be the center of attention. You're having great success all this this month. Um, also, um, if it's not you, then your partner, but I still feel like they bring that energy. Their luck is your luck. Um, so I just still feel like they bring this energy into your life. You feel um, blessed to be with this person or they feel blessed to be with you. It's more than likely, it's it's mutual. I'm not trying to make it seem like, shit, they need to be blessed, they with me. It can go both ways. I just kind of feel like it's, it's mutual. Um, I feel like you met someone you can share all your secret fantasies with. Like maybe there are things that you don't talk about. Um, and this person, they don't ju judge you. you. There's a genuine tr trust between you and this person. Um, so you share a lot of things with them. Yeah, I, I like this relationship. Um, I think it has potential. Um, even if you are not, again, seeing anyone, your life is, is strong right now. And I feel like it's still leading up to eventually somebody is coming towards you. Somebody's coming towards you. The universe is going to send you some sort of confirmation. If you feel like you ever lose hope in a matter, the universe is going to restore your faith in whatever it is that you were doubting. Okay? So I hope that that uh, resonates. I uh, hope it makes sense. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and many blessings to you.